All right, this is gonna be one of those fun streams with no music because my headset isn't working and I'm not going to fiddle around for eight hours trying to fix it. So I'm gonna start with some lines. And today I'm gonna be doing some sort of trying to come up with an idea for this competition thing, which is not really that big of a competition, but it's just like a little it's a theme of a circus. So, basically just gonna try to make some sort of circus related art. In other words, trying to apply some stuff I've learned <coughs> toward something that's actually a picture, but yeah. Knowing myself, I'm going to be like, oh, but I don't know how to do this, and I just won't know what to do, because I always, um, stop drawing because I'm like, oh, there's something that I don't know yet, and I need to go figure that out before I can ever get this to look how I want it to in my head. Like, I want to do something that's like, you can see that there's like a big open space and then there's like a figure in the open space, like inside of a, like a, like a circus tent, you know what I mean? But I think about it, but it's like, I have no idea how to actually draw it because <laughs> it's like a vague image in my head, you know, you know, when you have an image in your head, but it's like really vague. It's my life. Yeah, when I get to the bottom of this, uh, since I don't have anything to rest my hand on, it's really hard to make the lines anywhere near straight, so... But really, when I do these exercises, the goal is to think before drawing, so... I do this to sort of get myself in that mind state. And I'm hoping that over time it will eventually pay off. I know if I don't think about it, I tend to start just drawing a bunch of dumb lines, so yeah, alright. I'm actually going to erase this because it's not that interesting. And I'm going to try to do some basic box rotation. rectangle in a box, so I'm going to extend that a little. MPM Hall. I believe that's Michael, right? What's up, dude? What's up? What's up, meme lord? How's it going? That's a cute emote. So if you're a meme lord, you must have a favorite meme, right? And if so, what it, what is it? So is this like no music thing weird because like it's kind of weird to me. <laughs> I usually like doing stuff with music but 
If I do, it's going to be through my computer and it's probably going to sound like garbage. Wow, this this is this looks horrible. Yeah, uh, I can assuredly say that this looks like trash and um, it's very disturbing. How do you box? Honestly, clearly I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, god damn it. I just want to have like this really simple like I want to see this edge and I want it to be like I mean I do this every day and I still suck so it's making me question my intelligence a lot <laughs> I am doing all right and how are you Or maybe he was actually asking Mantis, that's, that's very possible. Mantises are pretty cute. Yeah, it's weird with that music, yeah. It, let's, let's just pretend it's like an ASMR stream, you know what I mean? All you can hear is the sound of my tablet and it's just, everyone's just getting ASMR right now. Uh, no, I have not done any cosplay lately. I haven't done any in quite a while, actually. Although I still do have many materials to create some stuff. But I've just been very interested in drawing. I feel like, um... It requires more of my attention at this moment for some reason. <laughs> Mantis! <laughs> I'm doing good! So it's like these vanishing. You know, I think it's one of those things where I need to, like, just draw this out once. But the issue is, it's gonna be so distorted if I do stuff on the page. So I don't know. Oh, okay, MPM Hall. Well, if you got business to do, then by all means, en enjoy the rest of your night, man. Thanks for stopping by. Good to see you again. It's been quite a minute. MPM Hall was one of the first people who came to my stream. Wow, I'm really bad at this. It makes me like want to die. You know, it really sucks going your whole life like thinking you're good at drawing because you can copy things and then you try to make things. Oops, and you're like. Oh wait, actually, I'm horrible, and I'm like not even, I'm not even like, honestly 1% good, like, <laughs> and then that realization hits you in the face and you're like, man, I got a lot of work to do, but I actually, I like that though, it's a challenge. Yeah, the issue though is I think I, I lack a fundamental understanding of what I'm doing, and that's why it's it's failing so I'm probably just gonna finish this one and then fucking move on because yep um your studies look bad anyway well I think studies are meant to be studies so they're not meant to be works of art per se you know you really I mean, all you can really do is the best you can and just keep practicing and learning so that eventually you can stop sucking like this, like, what, what, how the fuck did that happen? Like, yeah, I, I, no, I, I don't know what I'm doing. 
So anyway, I'm gonna stick to what I'm good at for today. And basically, um, just do some like concept sketches of something. Uh, what's up, Bowser? Well, maybe it's better than you can do, but also how much time have you put into it? So, you know, I put in a decent amount of time and, 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 and this is the result. It's like, God damn it. <laughs> I also think I'm just spatial. Like, I actually think maybe I'm spatially challenged. Like, it, it's not that I'm spatially challenged. It's like putting it on the page is what's the problem. Like, it's like, why don't the lines make sense? You know, it's, it's hard. I mean, I'm getting better, but it's, it, yeah, there's still so much to learn. Oh, you have different ways of doing studies? What what do you do when you do studies, Mantis? My studies look horrible too when I do them like with a form based. But for now, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna try to be like, take this somewhat simple because otherwise I'm going to overcomplicate my life. And basically what I wanna do is just come up with a few different little like, ideas and play around with like what could be done um, and see if I can take that into a final kind of piece like I'm not gonna do all of it today because I actually tomorrow I have a my Shaolin Kung Fu testing <laughs> which we have been preparing for for many many weeks now so I will uh, I'll be doing that in the morning so I can't like stay up that late um, But yeah. Uh, you hop in and do your figures, anatomy, stuff like that. It also depends what you're working on, like weapons. You jump in with silhouettes and silhouette. Yeah, well, that's not a bad idea. In fact, that's kind of what I'm about to do. Um, typically, like, that's not far off from my per like what I personally kind of do. But lately, I've just realized all my studies are for nothing if I don't understand form. So I've just been, like, kind of really trying to focus on that as much as I can, including in the studies, but it doesn't always work out. So today, I'm gonna try to use what I know, but I'm also gonna just use a lot of observation and um, like whatever I kind of already know and just sort of see what I can do, which is probably not that much, to be honest with you. <laughs> Bad proportions on that one. I should add my anatomy studies are incredibly messy. Oh, uh, well, what do you mean by messy? Well, most of my streams, they start off with very basic exercises um, because I'm trying to remember, like, pay attention to the lines you're going to make. Because I often forget that. I zoom this out. Not that excessively. Damn it. Mm -mm. <sighs> okay. Lines everywhere. Well, I used to do my figure studies very similarly, to be honest with you. But, um, and you know, they, they probably work. It probably works to do something like, I definitely learned a decent amount of proportion like that, but I think it kind of limits you in the long term because it sort of trains you to be really, it, it kind of trains you to not think before you draw, which is like, I think uh, what a lot of like really um, intuitive artists sort of do. But it's easier said than done, for sure. Like, I don't always think, you know, sometimes I'm just sort of BSing it, but I try not to. Like this right here, I need to break this down further. So let's see. Um, I want to draw a torso. I want to draw a head. 
I want to draw like a spine. The hip and the leg. And the foot and leg here. You do a lot better with landscape drawings and when you did sketches you literally just scribble so it goes back to how someone learns Seeing how you study, do studies is cool, do the calculated way. Yeah, well, you know, I actually got, I, I started doing that because, um, yeah, like I said, it's just about the understanding of forms that I realize I really lack, so I try to, uh, I try to do everything with that in mind because, um, my biggest problem continues to be I have an idea in my head, but I can't execute it because I don't know how to like rotate things in space, I don't know how to like convey space very well um, like in this case I want to have like like a room or something um, and this could be basically this is just like some kind of concept, but but so th then like I take this idea and I'm like, okay, I would want to see something more like up close with like a lot of foreshortening and something like really dynamic and like some, sort of a crazy person basically. Um, but like this it looks so static; it's like a person from far away, so you don't really get that. You don't really get much from it, <laughs> I guess. So if I take that thought, um, and also actually let me try some other like poses and stuff to see what I like. Death from perspective outside of hands is usually what gets a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's because it's it's really like almost mathematical. Like it takes like you have to really like study it to really grasp it. Or you just have to do it so many times that somehow you just sort of get the feeling for it, I guess, but I don't have the patience for that, so I try to study it. Um, <laughs> Hands are just fucking weird, and perspective is just weird. I feel I do well with perspective in space, but maybe others would disagree. Hmm. I think if others can disagree on it, then it maybe it might be able to use some work, because typically I don't think there's a question if 
if the perspective is there, you know what I'm saying? But again, you know, it's just a matter of like endless studying, basically. <laughs> Like, the people who are really good artists, I mean, they didn't just, like, wake up and say, oh, yeah, this thing, and then just, they're gods. <laughs> I think a lot of them really took a lot of thought and energy toward what they were doing. Just like most things in life, I think if it's too easy, it's it's almost like it's there's probably more to it, you know. Oh, I have no idea if others disagree. I haven't really got good criticism since high school. Ah, I see. Well, why not? Do you still do you still draw, by the way? Like, do you actively draw or? Is it just um, like daily or just sometimes or? Yeah, so, again, the theme is, like, a circus or something, and, I don't know, I just kind of thought it'd be cool if I could do multiple figures in the scene and then, like, have all of them have some... something very weird about them. Like, you know, I don't know, like, masks or some sort of, like, creep... I don't know. Just, I, I want something creepy, <laughs> but who knows if I'm going to be able to execute that. <laughs> Um, uh, I do, just one of my friends draw, and I'm not even slightly active in any drawing community, so oh, I see. So when I show my friends pieces, they're all, yeah, dude, this looks good. Well, if you want critique, I mean, that's why I have made the Discord, because it's like meant for people to share the artwork and discuss things, but... I just published it, so, like, no one really uses it like that. <laughs> um, because previously the people who were in it weren't really, like, doing art, but I really hope to, like, you know, use it as a place where it's like, you get constructive criticism, like, not asshole criticism, and for people who are really interested in, like, leveling up their skills can, you know, go and ask for advice or whatever. Um, I definitely think when it comes to art, the best thing to do is expose it to the light of day. <laughs> Show it to people and, um, and get the feedback from people who know, who really know, like, what they're saying. Because, like, I don't show my friends my art because, like, they're going to be like, oh, this is cool. But, like, it's, it's, like, it's totally not. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not the best at art, like, myself, like, drawing it, but I've always, um, ever since I was younger, uh, really, I was pretty active in, like, critique communities and stuff. Um, and I, I would just read a lot of critique of other people's stuff. Um, yeah, I don't want to make this too complicated, though, this here, because I feel like if you just do a bunch of figures, you can't do any of them that well, so maybe I should just try to stick to one. 
and yeah, I don't know, I just have this, it's like I want it to be upside down, like her face is, it's like someone's face is upside down, um, who knows how the fuck I'm gonna draw that reliably. And I want it to be pretty creepy. Again, <laughs> how to do that, I don't know. You've shown some pieces to channels and got good criticism, just been doing studies. Oh, I feel you on that. Yeah, it's hard to like actually complete something when you know like you have so much room to improve. At least for me, like, it's, like, nearly impossible for me to finish something. Because I'm always just, like, ugh, this could be better. Like, what is this? What am I doing here? Like, <laughs> At triple chin, that's what I was doing. Yeah, but like, let's see, like, it's like, I want to do a face, but how do you do, how do you do a face when you have nothing in your, in your mind of, like, you have something in your mind, but how, how do you turn that, it's almost like a feeling image, it's not a full-on image in your fucking mind, so it's like, how do you turn a feeling image into a real image, like, <laughs> that's my, that's my problem in life. Like, it's the same thing as I have a dream, and it's like super vivid, and I feel like I lived in it, you know? But if I try to draw it, I can't draw it, because I can't even draw, like, stuff I do, at, like, real, the real life, so. <laughs> so, if we take the con, the, the face upside down, and then do a pose. Let's see, I want it to be like, basically like this, but less side view, more we like crazy looking, probably like a trapeze or something, and it's like feet are going above it. I wonder if I make this bigger and I start with a silhouette if I can do anything more decent. Because the silhouette's pretty important. Um, and I think it's really good to, like, just occasionally just like fuck around and just try things like not being so afraid of and not turning out I mean you might waste a lot of time but like it's kind of fun and like who cares uh, you know you're, you're practicing you're thinking you're sort of you're doing something um, I feel like for me, a big problem that I had, and sometimes still do have, is if I can't, like, get an instant result, I am like, oh, yeah, let's just, let's just not do that, but I think it's gonna be a mistake, because sometimes the fun is just, like, really, like, with art, the process is really, like, it's actually fun if you just kind of let yourself like play with it, you know, not be so serious all the time. And I definitely have a tendency to be over serious. Like, yeah. Like I rarely do what I'm doing right now. Just sketching shit. Even if it doesn't look that good, like, you know. Hmm. 
Oops. So yeah, Mantis, you should post you should post your stuff. Get some critique up in that bee. And I need to actually finish something. Which is what I'm trying to do with this, um, with this thing. So how can I do a silhouette that- Hello, succulent cheeseburger, what's up? Succulent cheeseburger, what a name. I was gonna say, how do I do a silhouette where it's like, it's kind of like I guess the Spider-Man thing, but not quite. Um, there's one project I want to start that will be very not safe for work though. Okay, well you have to explain what project that is. You can't just say you're going to start an NSF w, uh, w thing and not elaborate. What is it? What is it? <laughs> you got me hanging on the edge of my seat. Waiting to know. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> I'm still waiting, Mantis. I am still waiting for your response. What are you <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> to be honest, I have a dream of making some very NSFW things too, but more like NSFL. Because that's that's my favorite kind of shit. Okay, so one of my friends wants to make a game. An FPS hentai game. I was gonna do all the character designs. He opted out because he doesn't want to have to take any risks because he wants to be a programmer or something and not need to make an alias. So he gave me the go ahead to work on the project myself without any issue. Well then, the green light to make your own hentai game. Hentai FPS 2020. I mean, so what's the premise of the game? Are you going to be shooting like, like waifus or something? Are they going to be naked when you shoot them? Like, is, is it... Is it one of those, like, incel simulator games? Maybe that was, like, too, too much of a... Not nice joke, I don't know. You use a love wand to hypnotize monster girls and then you fuck them. <laughs> oh, okay. The wand for your design was supposed to be very phallic. I see. You know, I, I like I like how you're talking talking about your friend. What? How do I get rid of this pop up? Um, you're talking about your friend, and you're like he wants to be a programmer or something, and not make an alias. Why does he not want to make an alias? It's so easy to be a programmer and no one know who you are. <laughs> It's like behind the scenes after all. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the feed or what I want to do with that, but I don't want it to be like, eh, I don't know. Uh, let's see, maybe I should do some erasing. Oh, I totally just drew over my picture in the background. That's kind of sad. I feel like there was something there worth of shit. Oh well, it'll always live in uh, memory. 
living our memories in the VOD. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm not too excited about what I just did here. It's not that, not that exciting. I mean, this one, like, is, I think, kind of cool, like, in terms of whatever, but it's not, definitely not creepy. It doesn't look interesting. It's just sort of like, okay, silhouette. Um... I also had an idea for silly endings. There's a song called Ocean Man, and I want a silly ending related to that song. It's more like he doesn't want to take his, a year or more longer to make a game. He would rather spend a year or more making a game that can be even seriously seen seriously by employers. I guess that's fair. This currently looks like a nightmare, not saying it looks bad. Oh! <laughs> Friendly Llama. <laughs> You know, interesting, because that's, like, what I'm trying to go for, so, I don't know, maybe I can just keep it and, nah. I mean, I'm trying to make something, like, creepy, but not... Yeah. This is basically my, my dreams right now. It's just a bunch of weird shit and lines everywhere. No, I'm just kidding. My dreams are usually really weird, though. Like, I, like everyone. I hate, It's kind of dumb when people say that, because, like, everyone's dreams are really weird. <laughs> Although, one time I had a, a five-layered dream, and it felt like I had been asleep for, like, five years. Like, it felt like... I felt like I was asleep for the longest amount of time, and I woke up, I could not believe it was... I think I slept, like, 12 hours. And I just, like, kept waking up in a dream, like, five times. And this was before Inception. So when I saw Inception, and everyone's like, Wow, what a mindfuck! I was just like... That was not a mindfuck. I mean... Feel free to disagree, but I don't see how Inception was a mindfuck. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, like, make another page and just kind of... Maybe I'll take this one and try different variations of it, because... Um, uh, what the fuck? Oh, what, what... What is this? Okay, actually, this might be the perfect size. Strangely enough. Let's see how it looks when I zoom in all the way. Uh, it's a little bit grainy, but that's okay. Cool! That was actually really convenient, because I want to draw a series of things. Because, uh, like, Bioware Rebellion or any of the other dev is going to be like, Oh, you made a game about fucking Monster Girls hired. Oh, isn't going to be like... You know, I actually kind of don't get that. Why? I mean, how does a person's ability have anything to do with their content? Like, like I, I actually don't, like, understand why, as a society, we separate like not safe for work. First of all, not safe for work. That phrase alone, it's like, what are we in kindergarten? Like, we're all adults. And if we're not having sex actively, we're probably jacking off to it. So, like... What do you mean not safe for work? It's a, hu it's a human thing. Like, personally, I don't understand the human, like... You know, I actually, I understand the origins, but... For the life of me, I don't understand why we continue to have the separation between... Like, professionalism and, like, sexual jokes or something. Or sexuality. It just... It just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, and, you know, I'm sure somebody that I know would take great offense to that, and I just don't care. So this day I've never seen Inception. You're not missing much, dude. You're really not. I don't get it either, but hentai games are usually seen as bad themselves. Like, programming and gameplay are usually janky as fuck. Well, see, that's the thing. Like, don't be a janky as fuck hentai game pro uh, programmer, and maybe somebody will take you seriously, but if you just fuck around and make like a shitty game and shitty art and it's just all shit and it's just it, the only selling point is hentai like yeah I mean that's not really gonna be impressive that's just sort of like a fun dumb thing to do with your friends I guess so if you don't want to take it seriously then yeah don't don't waste your time but I, I think you can take it very seriously and go ham if you wanted to I don't know what I'm doing here I'm just like 
drawing. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I was gonna take the concept of upside down. I don't. I don't want to be too Spider Man. You know, I feel like Spider Man kind of stole that pose for the like from everyone. It's like you can no longer use this pose, or you're invoking Spider Man and like derailing a thread or something. So, um, yeah, I, I I think there's just a stigma against anything sexual in the workplace, probably because of like it's an HR nightmare. That would be my guess, like. If you're capable of making this sexual hentai game, then how can you be thinking of your equal, I mean, your, you know, male or female, depending on what the content is, you know? How can you think of your colleagues the same? Like, I, I don't know. This, if this was an actual trapeze, it's a very long trapeze. <laughs> oh, there I did that again. So how's this no music thing going? You know, actually, sometimes I think the no music can be a good thing, because then you can actually listen to your own music. And not have to endure whatever crap I happen to have randomly playing. I hope I can get that fixed too, like, I I just hate when, like, I put my computer to sleep so that everything would, would stay in its place. And then I come in and I turn on my sound and it's not working and I don't know why, I unplug the speaker and then I put it back in, it's just my little iPhone headphones from like years ago. And um, <laughs> you didn't think about listening to your own music. I should just call this like B Y O M, bring your own music, <laughs> art and chill or something. Damn it, this is like not doing anything good. This looks horrible. Uh <laughs> It looks like her arm is coming out of her head and she's like a pregnant whale or something. Like, or a bird. That looks like a fucking bird. Like, this does not look like a human, so I'm just gonna turn it into a, like, a whale bird. Wee. Wee. There we go. Now that makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> but it still looks fucking weird. Uh, did you right click on the little speaker icon and open sound settings? Yes, I, I did. I'm very familiar with setting up my sound settings, but for some... Maybe I need to mess with them even more, but actually the same thing happened to me yesterday, but I just unplugged it and plugged it in and kept switching the device and it just randomly worked, so... Uh, okay, I'm gonna take this idea here and... You know, I don't think this one's too bad either, but like, I want it to be like... I want it to definitely be focused on the face. Maybe it doesn't need to be upside down. But like, I want it to just be like, you look at the face and you're just like, holy shit, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, the chat's on the left because I can't see very well. And recently I moved my laptop to be in front of me so that I can see I don't have to like go all the way over there to like see it because of yeah so but I won't be able to read it that far away so that's why it's on the left 
because I'm really ghetto and I don't know, I just do whatever I can to make it work. I know, I am on my own when it comes to the sound settings. Woe is me. What time is it, by the way? Because I actually... It's going to be a really short stream today because I do not have a lot of time. Oh, we Okay. I feel like I've been streaming for like 30 minutes. Um, but, you know, I, I need to wake up really early tomorrow and then be physically active. And get my next belt, which I don't really care about, actually. I just love, like... I just... Uh, martial arts is just so much fun. Like, it's just so... Fun. And it's such a good, like, uh, opposing force to yoga. Like, if you guys have never done yoga or martial arts, I highly recommend both of them. Because... Especially... The, the thing about... Especially with Shaolin, uh, Kung Fu, and whatever, is, like... It's very much... Like, the ideas and everything are very similar to yoga. It's it's very strange, but the difference is yoga is like holding things a long time and like really, um, you know, lengthening and it's a lot of stretching, obviously. But but then like martial arts is so explosive. So, I mean, you could do anything explosive, like playing a sport or something too, but I don't really like sports. So it's like yoga, but it's fast. Um, although in terms of sports, I do think like kickboxing is really fun and not only fun but really good training for your brain like you really have to pay attention when someone is throwing punches in your face <laughs> it's so satisfying oh my god I can't wait till the next class I've been like <sighs> feeling really sick lately so like I in the middle of class I feel like I'm gonna pass out but I think I just haven't been eating that well so as long as I don't eat a bunch of salty shit like literally chips and like cookies before, like, that day, or, like, ever. Actually, I just need to stop totally. Then I should probably be okay. Anyway, that was a total off-topic chat. I don't even know if I'm talking to anyone anymore. But I'm just talking because why the fuck not? So, anyway, that was a very uh, lame stream, I think. But <laughs> I guess those are some ideas. I'm going to see what I can do to flesh them out tomorrow. Um, sometime around, like, 7 or something like that. So... Yeah, I will catch you guys then. And if you guys are doing anything fun tonight, I hope you have fun. And if you're not doing anything fun, I hope you still have fun because like we have the internet which offers millions of fun everywhere. So, all right, peace out guys.